Most schools have very, very segregated jazz and classical departments. At the grassroots level, it's about creating a culture here on campus where people from both sides of that walk get to know each other. My main call is a program called PI, Performance and Improvisation. I basically try to help people understand what skill sets might be missing if they really want to participate more in these types of things. We should pivot off our downbeat like we're pushing off the bottom of the pool. If you want to be in a pie ensemble, you have to take some basic improvisation classes, you have to take rhythm classes, and the rhythm classes are intense, you know, you really need to look at things deeply, you have to play drums. Jazz musicians need to be able to read the things that classical players present, which isn't always as easy for them as it is for classical players. And at the same time, classical players need to understand how to play in internalized rhythms that they take the responsibility and are not following a, a conductor. Whether it's South Indian or Brazilian, North African, West African, and we talk about how to break it down or where to look at the time. And it's a process. You know, it's a process for me even now. You gotta find the drums that work for you. I think the biggest journeys are the ones for classical players who never really had to take accountability for what notes they're gonna play over you know, what harmonic background or how to internalize their own rhythm or to identify with that part in them that like says, this is how I actually feel and I'm, I have a safe space to try to explore that. I definitely want to give people the chance to just play the simplest, clearest feeling they have. Because you can spin an awesome web from the most basic thing. And if you can't do it from that, you can't do it from knowing complexity and try to play simple. Students play a lot. Student session here, in one way or another, three, four times a day. It's really imperative that people understand a lot about who they're playing with and how they feel and to give what they're doing a home so they feel like their notes have a value. And if you start doing that and celebrating who you're playing with, you start to understand that it's about music, but also it's about music as a tool in life to become more of what we potentially could be as humans. An Oberlin kid is someone that makes very unusual connections between genres of styles, music, lifestyles, whatever it is, it's a magnet for that. Those people are really searching, and they're searching in lots of different ways to find meaning for their own life, and in the conservatory, through their art. Try it again. <laughs>